It was a nasty rainy morning. Got a lot of rain last night. Big storm. I need to do something about this drainage out here from a building. I worked yesterday on these two things. I got this. It's a six inch core, two inch shaft, three inch spikes, or three and a half roughly. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. That's gonna make a nice little pull type air rudder. Uh, then I made this Colt Packer yesterday. Got it painted, cleaned up. But I gotta get me some pins. I'm out of pins to go on one of the uh, three point hooks up. And I still need to cut this shaft on this side. And I'm gonna drill a bolt hole and pin it on each side. Uh, those pillow block bearings are new, but the set screws, you never, I don't, you know, kind of just don't like to trust that. I kind of would rather have something in there, a, a bolt or something, a little quarter 20 bolt going all the way through there. Stop it from pivoting. This piece right here, this main piece of channel, uh, that's the side frames of, uh, I think, a WD, Alice Chalmers or something. The Alice Chalmers. I don't know if it's a WD or what it was. I got another piece of that up on the hill. The tractor was scrapped out. Uh, there wasn't much left of it, but two real nice pieces of channel. So I saved it. Made a good little program for this. I need to make a stand for it. Uh, I ain't figured out quite how I want to do that. I really need to hook it to the tractor and sort of see where I'm at with it, where I can make a stand that won't be in the way about hooking up or in the way about backing into it, you know. Because it, it's not heavy. I mean, you know, you can, it's real easy to pick up and move. It ain't heavy to move, but it, it, the stand will have to go both ways on it. It'll have to keep you from pushing it backwards and letting it come forwards. So it's going to be a stand to be the hardest thing to make. I got these holes out here on the end, and I was thinking about just making a, a bar that went across here, put run two bolts up through there and then weld a pin in the middle. I can put like a hitch pin in and then go down with like a little U bracket and put a nice foot on it. That way it won't fall over. But then I need to try to figure out a way to stow it back on the other thing. Ooh, yawning. But uh, anyway, turned out pretty good. Used my band saw a good bit. Uh, turned out good. Used my small plasma cutter over here a good bit. So uh, one of them old cheap uh, cut 50. It works good. They say it'll cut, you know, three eighths and st stuff like that. But it struggles with that. I cut that, and that might be a quarter. I don't know, but. Uh, it cuts all right. You just really, it, it, I've got a decent, I think it's a 60 gallon air compressor. It does all right with that. Uh, my, I'm about to go get some more gas. I just about run out of gas welding this. Yeah, and as you can see, if you probably zoom, you start getting that wormhole porosity. I mean, it'll hold, I'm sure, but it don't look good. Start running out of gas. I was in a hurry to try to finish that. And anyway, put that thing, that thing on. A, I'm gonna make, like I said, I'm gonna make that into a pull type. That's uh, six inch tube. And I welded me a little end cap on it, and I put the, that two inch solid shaft all the way through it. So I don't know what it weighs. I ought to get me a scale out here and weigh it. But once you put all them spikes on it, it's hard to handle. Things right there are sharp, they'll get with you. But uh, anyway, it, it ought to really do a good job aerating. It'll work good. Work good on a, um, work good on a four wheeler or a lawnmower. But I'll be honest, it's gonna be pushing a couple hundred pounds. I mean, I don't know how to, should do all right with a lawnmower. But anyway, just making some more stuff here. Just killing time in the shop. Gotta go. Like and prescribe.